Hello, yoga community. My name is Terry, and I'm going to do a 30-minute gentle yoga class. And if you've never done yoga before, just take it at your own pace. And I'm going to do a gentle enough class that um, I think anybody could follow it. But take it again, listen to your body. So we're going to begin class today um, in a seated position. So sit in a comfortable cross-legged position. And we're going to focus on strengthening and toning the body today. We're going to try and improve balance and flexibility. And the first thing you want to do is just to close your eyes, tune in to your body, and start to connect with your breath. Good. Let's take a nice, slow, deep breath. We're going to actually raise our arms up and we're going to warm up the upper body. So we're going to take a nice, deep breath. Open the arms and draw them back as we expand through the chest. And on the exhale, you're going to close. And let's do that again. Nice, deep breath. Opening up, keeping the arms nice and low. And exhale down. If you want a little bit of a challenge, this time maybe inhale, taking the arms up into maybe a v-shape and you work those shoulders a little deeper so go where it feels comfortable good and then we're going to inhale expand again but this time take the arms overhead to get a nice deep breath as you feel your spine grow tall we're going to take one arm to the floor and the other arm is going to gently stretch over and then you're gonna inhale back up, and then we'll take it to the other side. So keep those hips anchored. Focus on the side stretch. Let's do that one more time. Nice deep breath here, exhale, fold over. And then now take a nice deep breath. We're going to add a twist. So I'm going to take the opposite hand to my knee. And we're going to look over the shoulder. Good. Inhale nice and tall. Exhale, twist. Good. We're going to do that one more time. Nice full breath. And gently turn. And last time. Good, and then we're gonna come back to center. I want you to put your hands on your knees. Take a moment to do some gentle little circles. So we're bringing the shoulders forward, gently rolling. And circle the other direction. And then we're going to release those legs by just gently extending them out in front of us. Sitting up nice and tall, let's just flex and point the toes. Waking up the feet and ankles. And then we're going to flex both feet, point both toes long, still sitting up nice and tall. And we're going to go straight into something called the staff pose. You're going to flex your feet, you're going to raise your arms, lifting your fingers towards the ceiling. I want you to feel your spine grow nice and tall. So a lot is working. Your legs are working, your core is active, your arms are engaged. Good. We're going to stay here for two more breaths. Good. We're going to exhale the arms and we want you to take your feet a little bit wider. We're going to take the opposite hand to the one of the feet and 
Stretch forward. Studies have shown as we age, we lose about 50% of our flexibility. So try and do some stretches a little every day. Good, and then sitting up tall, we're gonna go ahead and bend our knees. We're gonna turn sideways to our mat. We're gonna come to hands and knees. And then you're gonna make sure your hands are under your shoulders, knees are under hips for cat and cow. Remember your breath. We're exhaling and rounding. find a nice neutral spine we're going to extend one leg back so what we're going to do is we're just going to gently rock so we're warming up the feet and then we're going to take that leg up we're going to roll off that ankle so your weight is even on both hands your wrists are directly underneath your shoulders to take one leg and cross it over the other looking back bringing that leg behind you the opposite hands gonna slide forward we're gonna inhale up and we're reaching wall to wall spinal balance Good. Take your time as you exhale down. We're going to switch sides. We're going to release the arm, but we're going to go ahead and roll off that ankle. And that leg crosses over. We look back. This is a, just a very good side stretch for your side obliques. Good, and then returning that foot again, we're going to rock. So you're just on the ball of the foot, rocking forward and back. Good, bring the knees in. We're gonna go ahead and tuck our toes. We're gonna to go ahead and walk our fingers forward as we sit our hips back, child's pose. Good, gazing at your hands, we're gonna bring the hips up. We're gonna come into our first downward dog. The feet come wide. We're relaxing and stretching the hamstrings. We're gonna bend both knees as we tiptoe the feet towards the hands. And then we're gonna go ahead and cross the arms, hang like a ragdoll. Good, bend the knees, take a nice deep breath, gently raise the arms up. Good, we're gonna exhale, release, and I want you to turn towards me, our feet are hip distance apart. We're gonna take a moment to roll off the shoulders. Good, two more. We hold a lot of our tension in our neck and shoulders. We're gonna take a nice deep breath. We're going to inhale, interlacing the fingers. Take the two index fingers towards the ceiling, but soften the knees. We're going to take it to one side. Inhale, nice and tall, and side stretch to the other side. 
This is called the crescent moon. And then we're gonna inhale nice and tall. We're gonna exhale and we're gonna release the hands, turning, twisting. And then we're gonna inhale tall. And then you just wrap your arms around your waist as you look gently over the shoulder. Good, inhale nice and tall, twist. Good, and then lift it up, and gently turn. And then you're just taking it to a place that works for you. Good, we're gonna inhale back up. I want you to bring your hands to the heart center. We're gonna sit in chair. So you're gonna to begin to bend your knees, sit your hips back as if you're trying to find a chair behind you. Press those palms together. Now at the beginner level, you can take your arms forward, the more advanced level would be taking your arms to your ears. Good. If you need a break, just return those hands to the heart center. Take a nice deep breath here. Good. So we're going to stand up. This is our mountain pose. We're going to exhale down. We're going to return to mountain. And then we're going to go right into chair by, again, Swinging those arms forward as we sit the hips back. So, well, pose for the breath in, chair for the exhale. Good, inhale tall. Good, exhale drop. So this will help with circulation. You're gonna start to bring energy into the body will heat up those muscles. Good, give me three more. Remember, synchronize that breath. Good, last one, meet me on top. Take a nice deep breath. Good, relax those arms. And we're gonna go right into our warrior series. But before we start that, we're gonna take the feet wide into a comfortable straddle. You're gonna inhale your arms up. Good, now we're gonna, when you're ready, take your arms to a V. Your legs are in an upside down V. We're gonna go straight into cactus arms as we soften the knees. And again, you decide how deep you can bend the knees. You wanna keep your back straight and drop your hips to the floor. So you're opening up that heart center. Goddess pose. Take a nice deep breath. We're gonna go into five-pointed star. So everything is stretching out from your body center. Exhale back to goddess. Good, inhale to five-pointed star. Good, exhale in. Inhale, expand, and exhale. Good, we're gonna hold it here. Now I'm gonna take the hands behind us. You can either press your hands back as if you're holding onto a, pushing back against an imaginary wall, or you can work a little harder by interlacing your fingers, squeezing those shoulder blades together. So do what works for you. And you can gently look up. If you've got those inter fingers interlaced, you want to draw those hands down towards the floor. And then we're going to bring the arms to T. Start to straighten those legs a little bit. Give yourself a hug. Just relax and roll those shoulders. on some standing table work. So we're going to inhale the arms to T. We're going to soften the knees and fold forward. You're leaning with your heart, coming to what's called standing table. So the hands come to the thighs and you want a nice flat back. We're going to take the right shoulder, we're going to dip it. Good, come 
coming back to center, let's draw up that other shoulder. Stretching through the spine, take your time. Now you can repeat that or take that right hand to the floor, bringing the free hand up. Or if this bothers your shoulders, bind. And then exhale this hand to the floor. Good. We're going to raise the other arm as we windmill up or bind. Both hands come down. We're going to reach out for the ankles. We're going to shake our head no. Nod yes. Good. Walk your hands slowly up your legs. You're just rounding your back, stacking one vertebrae on top of the other. And we're going to go straight into our warrior series. So what we're going to do is take the right leg and turn it. The back leg is going to come to about a 45 degree angle. Good. Take a nice deep breath. Bring the arms to the Good. When you're ready, turn the palms up. We're going to bend this front knee, knee over ankle as the arms come up. Warrior one. And then just stand up, pressing the palms back out. Good. In. Breath. Exhale. Let's do a couple more of those. Inhale up and exhale. Good. Inhale, sink and exhale. And then hold it here. Here's your warrior one. We're going to take the hands to the heart center again, pressing the palms together. We're going to do something called the humble warrior, leading with the heart. A nice straight back as we lean forward, humble warrior. If you want to challenge, take the hands back into airplane. Good, hands come back to center. Lift from the crown of the head. Good, take those arms back up. We're going to take the arms to T. We're going to straighten the legs so we can take a break, and I want you to turn to warrior two. So those arms are reaching wall to wall. We're going to sink again, that front knee over ankle. From here, we're going to go into reverse warrior. The back hand comes to the back of the thigh. The other hand reaches up towards the ceiling. Follow your fingers up. Good, exhale back to warrior two. We're gonna straighten the legs and the arms and just come up and give our knees a break. Take a nice deep breath here. Exhale and sink again. Good, inhale, arms come together. Straighten the legs, exhale, sink. Let's do a couple more, deep breath. And release. Good, hold it here. Good, now release the arms, bringing the hands back to prayer. As we straighten this leg, we're just gonna turn it in to 45. We're gonna reverse it. So we're taking the other leg out. We're gonna take the hands, come square to that front leg as the arms come to T. We're gonna go ahead and turn the palms up. As we bend that front knee over ankle, you're gonna inhale up. Warrior one. Good, and then release. Good, sink into your warrior one. Good, we're gonna bring the hands to prayer. We're going to go into Humble Warrior. First bend the knee, knees over ankle. We're 
We're going to lean forward, leading with the heart. The back is nice and long. Feel free to stay right here or add airplane arms. Remember to breathe. Bring the hands back to the heart. Think about lifting, keep that knee bent. Lift from the crown of the head. Good, we're gonna take the arms back to T. We're gonna to turn to warrior two. So those arms are reaching wall to wall, the shoulders are relaxed. Make sure that knee is still tracking over ankle. We're gonna to go to reverse warrior. Good, exhale, return to warrior two. We're gonna give that front leg break by inhaling coming up, taking a nice deep breath, and then sinking back. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, relax down. Stay here and breathe. Good, and then straighten that leg. Go ahead and relax your legs, bring your toes in. And we're gonna take our hands to our hips and we're just gonna walk toes and heels together. We're gonna go right into our balance. So our feet are hip distance apart. We're gonna start slow by taking the hands to T again. We're going to shift our weight over to the right leg, and I want you just to pick up your left heel. Just see how that feels. Good, and then shift your weight. Pick up the other leg. Just the heel for now. Good, we're going to shift our weight. This time we're going to see if we can spring that toe off and get the foot off the floor. Look about six to eight feet in front of you. Keep your eyes on one spot. This will help with balance. And then lower that toe. Take your time as you lower the heel so you can shift your weight. Always start with the heel and you might want to stay here. But if you feel confident, go ahead and take the knee up. First, the higher you lift your knee, the more challenging. And then return the foot and relax those arms, shake them up. So we're going to do it one more time. I'm going to challenge you one more time with a leg extension. And again, just listen to your body. And if you need a chair, feel free to have a chair in front of you for balance. Let's take a nice deep breath. Good. Shift your weight. Lift the heel first. Good. Then lift the knee. We're going to flex our foot. And we're going to press the heel forward. So the leg can be anywhere. It feels better to have the heel close to the floor. Keep it there. If you're feeling confident, you can raise the leg. When you're ready, bend the knee. Take your time. Foot comes down, just roll it down very gently. Good, relax. Take a nice deep breath. When you're ready, shift all your weight to the other leg. Raise the heel. Good, raise the knee. Extend the leg if it's comfortable. Good, bring those, that knee back in. Take your time as you lower that foot. Good, relax it down. Good, again, roll out the shoulders. So the knees are soft. We're gonna do a couple of little backstroke arms. Relax through the neck and shoulders. The elbows are soft. And then we're going to go the other direction so the shoulders come forward. Just like the front crawl. Good. And then relax down. Good. Shake it out. Good. Well, we're going to return to the mat and we're going to do some 
not only some strength work for core, but we're also going to do some flexibility. So you can come down any way you want. So you can just cross one leg behind the other, bend your knees, and come down slowly. Or you can take it to the end of the mat and feel free to take a nice deep breath and swan dive forward, stepping back to down dog again. And then we're going to bend the knees and then we're going to walk our hands back and then we're going to just drop onto a hip and we're all going to meet right here in the center of the mat. So again, just crossing your feet, being nice and comfortable. We're going to sit up really nice and tall. Again, the hands are going to come into prayer. We're going to press those palms together. When you're ready, I want you to interlace the fingers. Press the hands away as you round your back. And then take a nice deep breath. Again, growing tall through the spine. You're working against gravity. We're going to exhale around the back. Good. One more time. Inhale nice and tall. And just relax your spine as your arms come forward. Maybe do a few little circles out in front. Good. Take a nice deep breath. Those legs come in. We're going to turn sideways to the mat. So we're right in the center. We're going to go ahead and make sure our feet are hip distance apart. Bend your elbows. Just roll down onto your mat. So the arms are at your side. Relax your head. You lift your spine, just melt into the floor. Feet are hip distance apart. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, pull your navel to your spine. So we're starting to use those deep inner core muscles. Exhale, navel to spine. Let's do two more. Take a nice full breath and drive that navel to spine and here's our last one deep breath press that lower back into the floor mat good from here we're going to take a nice deep breath and as we relax our back back to the floor we're going to extend just the right leg so imagine your big toe is like a Magic marker, you're going to make some circles on the ceiling with your big toe. So you're relaxing your hip. This is coming from the hip joint. So you don't want to be doing this, making your circles from the ankle. You want them to be coming, the circles come, are originating from the hip joint. Four more. Good, bend that knee. We're gonna hug that knee to chest. And if you want more, you can peel your forehead up as you extend the opposite leg. And then relax back down. We're going to switch legs. So bending both knees, lower both feet to the floor. Pick up the other foot. Start your circles. Good. Two more. And then hugging that knee to chest. Feel free to stay right here or make it a little bit more challenging. Good, lower the head. We're going to bring both knees in and we're going to glue our knees and ankles together. You're going to extend both legs up. So don't worry about your legs being perfectly straight. 
we're going to make double leg circles. So the stabilizing muscle for this exercise is the rectus abdominis. So this is an abdominal exercise, but it's also good for circulation because you're in a, your feet are over your head and you're getting the blood flow out of the feet and it's going to help a lot with vehicles veins, it's going to help with swelling in the ankles and feet. So we're reversing the blood flow. Two more circles. Now bend your knees, take your hands to the knees. We're going to make a couple little circles low. Just relax through the hips. And then maybe change directions if this feels good. It's just a nice massage on the lower back. We're going to lower the feet again. Make sure those feet are hip distance apart, the hands are at our side. We're going to go straight into our bridge. So make sure the feet are flat. We're going to press into the heels. We're going to start to raise the tailbone into what's called the bridge. So take it wherever you can. Make sure those hips are level. The shoulders are relaxed and you're breathing. This is a wonderful exercise to strengthen the back. And I want you to stay here for four more breaths. Good, now slowly peel it down one vertebrae at a time, starting from the neck. Good, we're going to extend one leg. We're going to take the other leg, cross that knee over. And we're going to stretch out that lower back. So if you want to add more, you can extend that opposite arm and look over that arm of the neck. Make sure your head is center. Bring that arm out back to the side. You're going to bring that knee back up. We're going to switch sides and you're going to cross folding that knee over the body. You can stay right here. If you want to add a little deeper shoulder stretch, the arm comes out and you look towards that arm. Good, we're gonna center the head. Take your time as we bring that knee back again. Good, extend both legs. Bring the arms in and we're gonna roll over onto our side. So go ahead and bend one knee maybe just to help you roll over onto your stomach. And from here, I want you to make sure your feet are at least um, shoulder distance apart. We're gonna take our hands into the corners of the mat for a little baby cobra. So you're lifting from the crown of the head. This is going to help stretch those abdominals we just worked. We're going to do one more nice deep breath. We're going to exhale and slowly come down. We're going to take the hands behind us. We're going to raise the legs as we keep our shoulders off the mat. This is called the locust. If you want a little bit more, you can interlace your fingers, intensify, squeezing the shoulder blades together.
Good. We're going to relax back down. We're going to take those hands back to the corner. The feet are in the other corner, back corner of the mat. We're going to come into our cobra again. It's just a baby cobra. And then we bend, coming down. And again, we're going to take those hands to our side. We're going to raise the legs. And I'm going to give you an opportunity to, to make this a little bit more challenging. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the feet a little bit wider as we take the arms to airplane. You really feel this in the inner outer thighs. Keep your head and shoulders off the mat. Good. Bring them both back in. Good. Release it down. This time, taking those hands just underneath the shoulders. We're going to push up through hands and knees. So make sure those knees are nice and wide. If you can cross your feet, we're going to sit down into child. Good. Let's take a nice deep breath. Look at your hands. Walk your hands back towards your body. You want to bring your knees together. Good. Come down onto one here. Good. We're going to find the center of our mat again. And we're going to do some quick little stretches. So what we're going to do is bring one foot in. The other arm leg extends out. We're going to walk our fingers towards those toes. The other arm is going to come up and you can reach for the ceiling. Or you can take it across as you're reaching for the toes. Good, and then inhale back up. We're gonna switch sides. Extending that leg nice and long. We're gonna walk it out. You can stop anywhere. Maybe start just gently lifting towards the ceiling. If you feel you can go farther, start to bring that arm gently overhead. Good. Take your time as you come back to center. We're going to bring the soles of the feet together. And we're going to grab those ankles. You're going to sit up nice and tall. Here's our butterfly. So go ahead and fold forward. Take a nice deep breath as you come up. We're going to extend one leg forward this time. And you're going to keep the other leg in. You're going to sit up really nice and tall. And I want you to take one hand behind your head. Just relax. Try and open up the hips a little deeper. And then we're going to take this bent leg and bring it across. Ankle over knee. And then again, just see how that feels. You might want to stay just right here or take your hands behind your hips and slide your heel forward coming into our hip stretch. So of course the closer your heel gets to your hips the more intense this stretch will be. So I'm going to let you guys everybody take it at their own pace. Really listen to your knee. Good. Two more breaths. Just relaxing here. We're going to bring that leg long. This foot is going to be placed on the outside of the knee. The other arm, opposite arm, is going to just hug that leg. We're going to sit tall. And again, a little seated twist, looking back.
Good, returning to center, let's switch legs. So this leg comes in, take a moment just to try and just a little pressure on that knee and just try and get that hip to open up a little bit more. Just warming up the hip before we go into this hip stretch. And when you're ready, you just cross an ankle over knee. And remember, you can sit right here, just stay here, or hands behind and just bring it in a little bit. And really be mindful of how you're feeling. If you're feeling a stretch in your hips right here, stay here, or otherwise take that leg a little bit closer in towards the body for more intensity. But if there's any pain in the knee, make sure you walk that leg forward and give it some relief. And then of course, as we straighten the leg, the foot is placed on the outside of the knee. We hug this bent knee as we look back. Good. Returning back to center. Take your time as you cross at the ankles. We're going to take our hands and walk them forward. You're going to walk over towards your right leg, square the shoulders to that right knee, gently fold. Good. Take your time coming to the other side. Shrug your shoulders all the way up to your ears. Take a nice full breath and on the exhale, we release. Let's do that again. Inhale, gently squeeze. Exhale, let it go. One more time. Good. Let's drop our chin towards our chest. Just allowing the weight of your head to stretch the back of your neck. Then take a nice deep breath, gently gazing up, trying to slowly lift the chin as you stretch the front of the neck. Good, make sure that chin is neutral. If the crown of your head is lifting straight up, your hands are relaxed on your knees because we're gonna take that right ear and dip it towards the right shoulder. And then you can take that other arm and just gently reach it away from the body. Sending that neck stretch down the arm and right out the fingertips. When you're ready, you can gently look down towards the floor. Bringing that chin over to that same shoulder. Good, let's take a nice deep breath. Take this extended arm, bring it across to the opposite shoulder, look away. And you can deepen this stretch, of course, by drawing that arm in towards the chest. Good, 
Good. And when you're ready, sitting up nice and tall again, we're going to go to the other side. Just the ear dip first. Good. Slowly gaze down. Good, let's bring that arm across. And we're gonna finish class by taking some nice deep breaths. So you wanna inhale, bringing the palms together Exhale the hands to the heart. So we're gonna do three more. I want you to take this at your pace. Deep breath in. Exhale to the heart. As you return to your heart center, take a nice full breath here. Again, tune into your body, connect to your breath, notice how you're feeling. Good, I wanna wish everyone namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. Stay healthy and safe.